Are there any architects around using AutoCAD? Well, good to see you guys and girls and great that you're here because today we talk about how to recover files created by AutoCAD. So, welcome back to the channel guys and girls. How are you doing today? Well, I'm doing good too, thanks for asking. And I'm so happy to see you around. Uh, this is where we very often provide for you practical data solutions. So if you like the idea, please subscribe to our channel. Today we're going to talk about one very common situation that all of you architects or people that just like using AutoCAD are experiencing. Just imagine what could happen while you're using the software. And we know very well for even a small project, you might spend hours designing something and then all of a sudden everything vanishes. So that would be really disastrous, especially if you don't know how to recover these files. But today we have highlighted for you the most common solutions, so let's get started. The easiest way, and if you're lucky enough of course, is to use the native AutoCAD backup files which have extension .bak. Let me show you. If you didn't know about these files, well, they do exist and they usually reside into a specific folder. So first of all, we open the local folder where we save our original AutoCAD files. Here we make a lookup and we search for .bak extension. Right click on the file, select rename and now rename the file with the DWG extension is the official extension that is used to save CAD files. Tap on yes in the prompted dialog box and try to open the file possibly you're going to see your design without any loss. That's basically it. Now you should be able to open this previously .bak file which we have just renamed and hopefully everything is going to run fine. Did that work for you? Let me know in the comments below. Option number two. AutoCAD very often automatically backs up the progress of your design so that you can easily recover it in case of emergency. So let us go ahead and take a closer look at this scenario. Open the file explorer, navigate to C drive, users, app data, local, temp. Here we need to locate the files that have .sv$ extension. Each file is going to have a date associated to it, so it's going to be pretty easy to find the latest ones. Copy the selected file to the AutoCAD folder and again change the extension to .dwg. Now open the file, try to access and figure out whether everything is working fine. Fingers crossed, if not, we have a solution 3. This one requires a bit more of detective work. We're going to be searching for files with .ac$ extension as mentioned. So let's go ahead and do that. There's a dedicated temp folder, so in order to quickly access it, we press the Windows key in combination with the R button in order to launch the Run window. And over there we type the following thing in order to access the temp folder. So over there, we run a search for all the files which have .ac$ extension. As soon as you find them, select them and copy them to the primary AutoCAD folder. Now open the original file in AutoCAD and go to the Drawing Utilities, tap Recover and select the copied .as$ file in order to recover the unsaved data back. Now simply you should be able to continue your work unless you have accidentally deleted the .dwg file as well which is going to make this last method undoable. And in order to guarantee it's going to work, you're going to have to somehow recover this accidentally deleted DWG file. So in order to do that, we're going to use a professional great solution, Wondershare Recover It. This is a professional data recovery tool, which is designed to help users restore different types of deleted files on the system. The reason why Recover It is the perfect tool to retrieve deleted CAD files is that it supports different file types, including the DWG extension. The tool is going to simply perform a detailed scan on your hard drive and fetch out all the deleted CAD files instantaneously. So let me quickly take you through the steps. Let's assume that you've already downloaded and installed Recovery, so we open the app. On the home screen, we choose the location from where the CAD files were originally deleted and we click the Start button. This is going to initiate the scan process we better be patient and wait until we see those DWG files present on the screen. Once the scanning process is done, or we already see the files, we select those that we want to retrieve, and we select the Recover button at the bottom right corner. 
Next, we choose the target location where we want these files to be saved and we finalize the process. Well, that's how it works and I truly hope that you already have your AutoCAD files safe and sound. And keep them safe. Now you know that there are two types of people that exist in this world. Those who do a regular backup and those that are about to learn to do a regular backup. Make sure to belong to the first category of people. If you belong to the second type, you always can count on Recover It, a professional data recovery solution. And as usual here, we present you a bunch of good and easy to follow tutorials about how you can recover your lost data. So that's been everything for today's episode. I hope it was fun and easy to follow. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below this video. Subscribe to the channel for more practical data tutorials. And I, Michael, hope to see you in the next episode. Bye.